my name is David DeWitt. I'm the program leader of Dynamical Prediction Systems at the International Research Institute for Climate and Society. Basically two types of models are used in seasonal forecasting. One type of model is statistical, which is based on uh, essentially constructing models using historical observational data. Another type of model, which is the type of model that I work on myself much more frequently, are dynamical models. And the dynamical models use the laws of physics to um, integrate forward in time. The limitations today really are the same limitations we've had for a long time, which is that uh, in terms of um, the dominant mode of variability uh, for seasonal forecasting is actually the El Nino phenomena in the tropical Pacific Ocean. And this uh, phenomena is uh, strongly influenced by the role of ocean vertical mixing. And so uh, problems that we have in representing ocean vertical fixing are model resolution, but also what's called model parameterization. Model parameterization is trying to represent scales of motion that you uh, can't explicitly represent because you can't afford to solve for them, uh, given the limitations in computer time. Um, other limitations are specification of the initial states of the ocean. Uh, we had a case last year where some buoy data in the tropical Pacific was removed, uh, which is not infrequent, unfortunately. Uh, this happens because of vandalism. Anyway, when that happens, uh, the ocean state in those regions can vary significantly from what you're used to because the models are less, less accurate as you approach the equator, I think is a fair statement, and these uh, buoy data bring the models back closer to reality. Uh, essentially, El Nino, La Nina are strongly tied to anomalies in the subsurface ocean, essentially how deep the equatorial thermocline is. And so uh, getting the initial signal is difficult, or getting exactly when it will start and how intense it will be is difficult and then getting when an event will terminate or switch signs. So um, for instance, switch from an El Nino, which is a warm event, warm SST, to a cold event or La Nina.